Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC we do everything DIY and today we got a service call for a split system heat pump that has a known refrigerant leak. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a Cooper and Hunter heat pump. This is a split system as you can see the white insulation piping heading out. I'm going up there. We suspect that the leak is in the ceiling behind the indoor section. So we have somebody cutting a hole in the back there now. And for now, we're gonna pressurize the system with nitrogen. We have about 175 PSIG. The refrigerant is in here. We do suspect that we have a leak upstairs. Let's take a quick look with the electronic before we do anything. So I use my electronic around here. Everything looks good. It's a flare nut. I actually went upstairs. I didn't get it, but because there was people around, but it wasn't leaking there. But there's a coupling right there, and it's flared. You see, they didn't embrace anything at all here. So that's the only point of connection. I'm gonna stand on that for now and try to like see if I can get a reading. But if there's any fixes that need to be made, I'm gonna need an extension ladder. So we're on high sensitivity. If this has a steady beep, there's a leak. You see that? All right, it's picking up. Look at that steady beep. There's a leak up here. Oh man, let's fix that though. <laughs> Steady. All right, so we're gonna need an extension ladder. Fix the leak right here. To be continued. Back with the ladder I needed. This one extends, so we're gonna be able to get up there. First, I'm gonna start with recovering the refrigerant. But before I do that, I'm gonna pull a quick vacuum on this recovery tank. Refrigerant is so expensive these days, you really gotta recover as much as you can. And it's also better for the environment. All right, let's get the air out of the hoses. Purge. Let's begin this recovery. When you open up the tank, it's already gonna pull refrigerant in, but to get the last bit of it, you're gonna turn the power on. All right, everyone, she's empty. I'm gonna close this up. We can begin cutting that pipe. All right, this is a pretty dangerous spot. The staircase is in my way. Hold on to this, see what I could do. Let's clear up this space. Cut this stuff out of the way. It's not easy, but let's cut this out of the way and figure something out. Just a bad spot. I'm gonna sand down these connections, then put a coupling in between. A little MC for here. Man, let's see what we can do to set this up. Got the coupling on. Hopefully everything holds. All right, so for some safety, I took some tie wraps and strapped this ladder to the metal grate over there. And I strapped down the pipe so it doesn't fall when I heat it up. So let's go ahead and braze this thing. Here goes nothing.
checked my connections with the mirror. It looked good. Let's go ahead and pressurize the system with some nitrogen. Check if there's any leaks. As far as that, I'm gonna use micro gas leak detector, the liquid solution. I got rid of that flared connection. Decided to go with straight pipe and braze it. Definitely uh, a safer method, more solid. Man, it's gotta be one of the ugliest braze jobs I ever done, but you know, it's the location. All right, everything's looking good. And honestly, that braze job doesn't even look bad. All right, guys, no leaks. Let's go ahead and dump the nitro. Put this thing in a vacuum, charge it up, and let's go home. It's a Sunday. Releasing the nitro. Got my vacuum pump running. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my micron gauge. And while I do that, I'm gonna go return a couple things and organize my tools. All right, microns dropping fast and we stopped the vacuum everything is good when it comes to these inverter units you really want to weigh in the charge so let's see what came out of here on the unit itself on the name tag on the plate it's going to state how much refrigerant is in here it says it's 410a 82.9 ounces so i'm going to weigh this in for a proper charge start this bad boy up let's open up the tank purge whoa it's just foam coming out of here you know you get foam when you recover fast with that sudden pressure drop but that can cause a compressor failure Ah, man, I really don't want to use fresh refrigerant, but I think that's the best way to go. I don't want to contaminate this system. Who knows, man? Maybe this tank. I mean, I did pull a vacuum on it, but still. This stuff is extremely expensive now. Let's go ahead and throw some new stuff in there. I wasted time with, with all this. Now look at this. Got a fresh tank of 410A. Hopefully this is not the possible contaminated one. <laughs> so purge, liquid, a little bit of foam came out. That's what was in the hose. Make sure that's out of there. I'm gonna damage this compressor. Zero out the scale. Now let's go ahead and charge this up with liquid. All right, just gonna watch the ounces go up. Got 83 ounces in here. Let's plug the power back in, start this thing up. I'm gonna check for leaks one last time up there before I take the ladder out. Check temperatures. All right, everything's looking good up there. Man, that was high up, pretty scary. 125 back pressure. Seems okay, just gotta check temperatures up there. Wrap this up. And man, that was quite a job. All right, everyone, that was it. Suction line is sweating back. Pressures were pretty good. We weighed in the charge, fixed the leak, pulled a good vacuum, fresh refrigerant. What more can you ask for? If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.